Woo! Welcome back guys. This is video number two all in the same day, I hope. <laughs> so if you guys didn't catch, uh, Rurox got a big drop July 28th, uh, midnight time, London. I uh, just dropped a Berserker video earlier today too. If you have or haven't seen that yet, I tried to figure out what time that would be in various locations. I have no idea. So check out London time, find your time zone, know that the drop for pre-order is happening July 28th midnight in London. What's dropping? Drop two is the Berserker helmet. That there's another video on an unboxing and a first look at everything that you might want to know about that helmet. Freaking dope. Magnetic lenses and stuff. Whew, man. I'm impressed. So impressed. I might even buy a new bike just so that I can use that helmet. No, I'm just kidding. I can probably use that helmet anyway. It's very, very cool. They're also dropping four new colorways for the Atlas 2.0. Now I've done videos before on the features of it and all that stuff, so I might touch on some of that in this video, but for the most part, we're just gonna talk about which one I got, what I think about it, all that. So without further ado, let's check it out. Oh, and as you might have guessed, uh, all of Rock's information is linked down in the description below. Get this guy out of here. Let's see what they sent in the box. All right. I lost my do not eat. Oh, drove over them. Oh, gee, it's everywhere. Oh, God. Take care of that later. All right. The Atlas 2.0, directions for changing stuff and things and all that. Got emergency tabs, of course. Nothing inside the helmet. It is shockwave compatible, of course. Chin curtain comes uh, with the helmet. <laughs> Ooh, this is the Impaler. This is the Impaler, and boy does it look mean. Comes with a clear visor. I don't think, I don't know for sure, you're gonna wanna check and see if when you purchase this helmet, it comes with the dark shield and the pin lock that they sent with mine. I'm not, I, I don't think it does. I swear this has gotten easier since the first one I had, that the little lock right there that holds the visor down. Got good foam around there. Super breathable front vent right around those gnarly looking teeth. Yeah, uh, none of the visors, I, I, don't, I don't keep a clear visor on really anything. So I'm gonna change that really quick while I talk about the other versions of helmets they have. Um, let me put out some protectant right here and Really need a helmet donut, but whatever. So, yes, the Atlas 2.0, if you have or haven't seen my um, video on that, I do have a playlist. I'll link that down below for you too with uh, all of the goodies from that. Uh, review where I try it out with a bike with a windshield, bike with no windshield, bike with... Uh, a mini fairing that doesn't fit me at all. Uh, it's for a shorter rider. You guys get the idea. Anyway, so I have developed quite a uh, fond feeling for the Rurock, particularly down here in the summer Georgia weather. It's very hot here. The airflow on this Rurock is outstanding. I'm very pleased with it. I, as a matter of fact, just put together a new moto vlog helmet where I'm using the core, which is an all black helmet. These, uh, these helmets with all these graphics, I just hate to cover it up with the GoPro mount and everything all on the side of it and um, all that. So I wanted an all black one for my moto vlog setup, but I do have the Ranger also, which is from the original drop 
of the 2.0, and I wear that uh, most when, if I don't want a moto vlog. Um, this impaler, very, uh, very not me to be perfectly honest with you. It's really cool, high quality graphics and stuff on it. It's the same carbon fiber shell that has been in all of Atlas's helmets, all the Atlas helmets. But it's just a little busy for me, you know? It's it's just, I mean, I ride a Harley after all. If you are, uh, t different bikes constitute different style of helmets, you know what I mean? Um, they did also come out with a Eagle, which is on the screen right now. It's, uh, well, it, honestly, it kind of looks more Harley-esque. You know how they like them Eagles. The Shogun and the Mech, which, I for one really like the mech. It's a lot going on for a plain Jane dude like me, which I don't know if a dude can be plain Jane, but anyway. The fact that it's the mech with all of its crazy gear, looks like a jet engine or something. It's pretty freaking cool. Probably not like a bloody tooth on there. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. So that is the new drop two from Rurock. Like I said, I've got another video on the Rurock uh, Berserker. I'll link that down, the whole Rurock playlist, it's down there. Drop is July 28th, midnight. If you're watching this video a little bit late, that's fine. It just means you missed all the hype, but you can still order your helmet now. Super light helmet, good airflow, and now more color options for you. Guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give a big dirty thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you haven't quite gotten your fix and want to see more videos from me, there's a video right here and here, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.